I will be voting no confidence in this government. This government has repeatedly refused to deal with the overcrowding issues in UHL and the capacity issues. We're not second-class citizens in the Midwest and uh, we don't deserve a second-class healthcare system. Uh, we deserve the same capacity relative to the population of the Midwest and the number of uh, sick people here as any other part of the country and that's not been provided. The government have given no indication that they would provide and have tried to avoid being held to account in the matter. When Michal Martin was elected Taoiseach, I called upon him to, to address the Shannon Heritage issue. I know that work has been done, but two years later, in the middle of the tourism season, it's still not done. It needed to be done by now. And lastly, and perhaps most fundamentally for me, this government has shown contempt for the democratic process in not showing up in the, in the Dáil to answer questions, but above all in ramming legislation through without a full debate. We're celebrating 100 years of Irish independence and 100 years of Irish democracy. That should be respected. At the very least, legislation needs to be fully debated before it's enacted, and that's not happening. The President himself has actually come out and commented on it and expressed his concern about it. It's something that I've repeatedly expressed my concern about, and not just in this government, but when a government that I did support uh, a number of terms ago tried to do the same thing. I objected to legislation being rammed through without debate. So Michael, would you like to see a general election called then and this government removed from power? That is the logical consequence, unfortunately, of uh, a government losing no confidence in the doll, if that's what it takes for this government to tackle the real issues that are there now and stop sort of going for running for photo opportunities and actually tackle the issues that are affecting ordinary people across the length and breadth of this country. If that's what it takes, that's what it takes.